A bidding war is now on in China for talent. It is a result of the country's one-child policy and aging population. So in the final part of our series on the effects of the one-child policy in China, Channel News Asia's Christine Lim reports on how companies are coming up with new ways to attract and retain young employees who HR experts say are more likely to job hop. Creative, tech-savvy and receptive to new ideas, young employees are part of the future of a company. But they are also notoriously difficult to retain. Last year, employee turnover in China was 20 percent, compared to about 10 percent in Singapore and 5 percent in the West. According to a survey, nearly 30 percent of fresh graduates changed jobs within a year. HR experts say it takes understanding to keep them. Flexi time, obviously, is something that people are looking for. Generation Ys are extremely ambitious and they're also very impatient. So I think um, employee training plans and clearly defined career routes are what people are having to offer here. Products of the one-child generation are used to being showered with attention and love rather than criticism. At GE China, managers are specially trained to hand out negative feedback with tact. They like a lot of feedback. They like a lot of positive feedback, but also they like take some tough feedback in a more constructive way so that they can be more motivated, encouraged to be better. To provide the frequent engagement desired by Generation Y workers, the company has programs in place where senior management staff mentor younger colleagues. They meet at least once a month for hourly chit-chat sessions. Initiatives to promote a healthy culture, both physically and mentally, are also popular among young employees. Here, staff can hit the gym anytime as long as work deadlines permit. Companies are coming up with more measures to address the emotional needs of young employees. For instance, this company arranges for psychologists to come in to give regular talks. A special assistance hotline has also been set up exclusively for its employees and their families, with the number of callers increasing about 10% each year. Other companies also come up with special benefits, such as the heartache leave, for employees who may need that extra time off to recover after a heartbreak. Christine Lee, Channel News Asia, Shanghai.